No butter, no bacon, no sugar, no meat. No butter, no bacon, no sugar, no meat. Robinson is still Robinson. He could be renamed, but the backstory can't be undone. Robinson's sons, sons, son, and back and back like a mirror facing a mirror and on and on. Robinson, the robbing son. What's he taken? What's he done? Robinson identifies with the animals. Robinson ducks into the primate house where he regards the monkeys, their tiny hands, so like those of man. Into the pungent dark, he mutters, will these beasts ever be satisfied with this human architecture, this uncanny surface beneath their canny feet? Will I and my sublet on East 10th Street? Robinson wrestles with that old despair. Aware that to be a functional human being means to deny death, but having lately suffered a loss of interest in that fact, Robinson has taken to staying inside, curtains drawn, phone off the hook. Either she's forgotten, or she doesn't care. self-portrait he'll ever paint. Robinson despairs of ever getting the likeness right. Face white as a saint, hair dark as a cave, brown eyes fixed, a light bright as magnesium. Dips his favorite sable into a kidney-shaped blob of red gold lake, bled from a crumpled lead tube of old Holland paint. Scores his own throat with a dotted line, labeled, please cut here. Robinson escapes to the Cape for Independence Day. Robinson is crisp and perspicuous. His wife stands next to him on the sand. Democracy could be a lot more sexy if this one fades in the rocket's red glare. Anne blushes, runs a hand through his hair. Robinson looks up, concussed, fireworks percuss. He keeps his affairs sort of secret, 
He's taken to sleeping with a small brunette. Glamour packs a wallop. Eros has a way. You probably should get what you want and be sufficiently scared about it, is what she said the first time they went to bed together. Adultery does not come from the Latin adolescere, to grow up, to mature, to adult. Perhaps it's in silence that the best work is done. He wonders if he will ever remember how it feels to be loved. If it comes back, it comes back, it comes back, if it comes. Robinson resents Anne's placid sleep. A flaccid inanity keeps him awake. Now here is nowhere. Anne's always been as aware as he is of the nightmare. What happens next and what is left? Either she's forgotten or she doesn't care. Pallid, whipsawed, Robinson needs to rest, but the more he thinks so, the more his brain goes, disloyal engine machining through the ether. Robinson cleans and cleans and cleans and cleans till, if nothing else, his toilet shimmers and his kitchen beams. Soaked in bathos, like taking a bath. The water below, grim and inappropriate, as dark gray wool in July. Repeated thoughts, repeated gestures, perfervid, very fervid, extremely ardent. A quote that's been underlined, starred, then underlined again. The city through the fog, near and shiny, but seeming so distant, pellucid, very lucid, extremely clear. A silvery atmosphere of faded dreams and intangible regret. He will go out glitzed, called a phenom, called unstoppable. This supper, this place, this life, this ring are mere contingencies, not to be confused in any way with real things. Blues at daybreak, listening to your footsteps go by. There'll be no sun in the sky. You took your suit and shoe. And left me with those daybreak blues. I got the bad news and got those blues. That daybreak staring at the skyboard below. Down where a lot of folks go. For that one way. Seven years after a disappearance, a person can be pronounced dead but that's nothing compared to the size of the ocean.